So my topic is career profile building and job suitability. So first, just a little bit about myself. I'm a chartered professional and engineer in um, the electrical and telecoms um, fields. I've had 25 years experience. It's been very diverse. I've, I've worked in a number of different industries. Um, I listed there oil and gas, iron and steel, mining, food packaging and processing, motor vehicle assembly, material handling, software development. So that talk from Microsoft was a little bit interesting because pretty much in my engineering career, I started out on the, on the, on the software development side and um, I ended up doing a lot of programming of motor car assembly plants, which was, was, was pretty nifty. Program the robots, program the conveyor systems and so on. Um, in the latter part of my career, I've had more senior management roles. Um, I've been a director of a few companies and the last um, job before I really wanted to start giving back was the one I had at, um, at OSD Pipelines where I was general manager. I, during, during that stint, I, I took great pride in, in how I assembled what I called you know, the best team that it, it was an engineering company, best engineering team that's ever been assembled. And I was quite passionate about you know, working with people and getting the best out of them and, and, and working with a team that I didn't have to boss, where I could just be natural with them because I learned to recognize you know, people's drivers and people's styles, and so I assembled a team of, of like-minded individuals. So that was one of the precursors to, to, to starting Jobbed. Um, just after that, one of, one of the highlights, my um, career highlights, was I, um, I was part of an Australian delegation to Zambia. We, we travelled with the Australian High Commissioner, and we met several um, Zambian cabinet ministers, including the, um, the president, and, and we worked closely with them. So I worked on that for about, about a year, trying to help them get some, some funding and help to get some, some um, big projects off the ground. Um, as you can see on those, on those pictures, uh, that's me in Oman doing an audit of, of, of some gas facilities. And the other thing about me is I'm, I've always been a passionate runner. And the thing that's not on there is that I've got a whole bunch of teachers very close to me in my, in my family. My wife um, is a teacher's aide at, at Holy Ro at Rosary School. She's, she's been doing that for almost 10 years now. My, my only other sibling, my brother, he's a teacher. He's in, in Cambridge in New Zealand. And I've got a sister-in-law that's a teacher. And now my youngest daughter... She's doing her first year at Notre Dame. Um, she's starting to do teaching. So um, it's some, something that's quite close to my heart. And even while I took a break outside, I bumped into a gentleman. And we started talking. And he was telling me why he was here. He's, um, he's going to be doing his um, PhD. He's, he must be in his, in his, in his early 60s. Um, and, he, and he's a double degree student from Curtin. And one of those degrees is in chemistry. And the reason he was here is because he wanted to go and honor his, 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 um, his lecturer. Because this was someone that really impacted him. You know, this is, this is someone that <coughs> was one of those people that was not only doing stuff because they, that they were trained in it, but it was something that was, was his passion. He was saying that he never took a note in, in chemistry and he got the highest marks because of the way that this guy imparted it. You know? and, that's what I want to touch on more about, is, is helping people identify what, what their passions are and also help identify what they can do with those passions. And so this is just a little bit about um, the team behind Jobbed. And Danny always points out the one um, thing missing from there, <laughs> the no females. Hopefully one day we'll have Danny's picture up there among, among us. But you may recognize um, Steve Weiser. He's, he did, he did the, um, the just started um, talk just before lunch. Um, pretty much the two of us founded it. And it was founded out of a passion of, 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 of 
really wanting to introduce value in the sector and, and, and help people be the best that they can and put their best foot forward. So our mission, we bring job seekers and jobs together and minimize the effort in matching skills to requirements. So I'm going to speak about a lot of tools that, that, that we're going to give um, to schools should they, should they want them and, and, and we've tried to make as many of them uh, free so as, as possible. So for the candidates, we empower and connect candidates with the right people. We have online career development tools. We have skill management and job matching tools. We are passionate about helping candidates put their best foot forward so they can present themselves in the best possible light. So, <laughs> I thought we needed some afternoon humour because we're in the graveyard shift. Um, so, employment. Employment is, is very different. It's changed, it's changed a lot just in the last few years. Um, Danny mentioned a lot about um, LinkedIn and the big driver behind that is this thing called passive recruitment where people that are not actively looking for a job can get a tap on the shoulder to say, hey, are you interested? Um, because at any one time, maybe 20% of people are looking for a job, but the other 80% aren't. And so that's changed, that's changed the way people do things. Um, we used to be dominated just by the likes of Seek. Our, our slogan, by the way, is stop seeking, get jobbed. Um, but now, um, and, and, we, and we, we're going through a little bit of a, of, 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 a, of a learning cycle with this because, especially for the younger candidates, they, they know Facebook intimately. And <clears throat> some of the stuff that they put out there on Facebook is, 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 is not always the, the, the best. And if that's their first introduction into LinkedIn, They'll, they'll be making mistakes. They'll be making mistakes about, you know, what's seen on, on your profile. Our, our system is a, is, is, you could almost see it as a bridging system where it's a safe environment where you can develop a profile. It's not viewed by all and sundry. We open it up to recruiters to do, to, to do searches on it. But um, I want to speak about how our platform is really geared for those just about to enter the, um, you know, to start their careers. Um, so the other thing that's different about employment and is going to continually be more and more so is people have multiple diverse roles now, especially you can see it with, with, with our youth, um, that people can wear two hats. They can have one, one hat where, where, where they're working in the retail sector and one hat where they're in what I would consider a more traditional job food industry and, 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 and so on. So, 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 so that's a big change and that's actually driven by the, the youth of today. Now, one of the other forces is, is, is driven by um, employers where employees are more and more seen a commodity. The amount of retrenchments and that, that, that we have are, are unprecedented but it all comes to the bottom line. Bottom line. I remember when we always had peaks and troughs in engineering, but every company would retain what they would have their core, their core team, so that they would, they would keep the flavor of that company and, and they'd keep the identity of their company. Now, just w when retrenchments hit and, 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 and when the companies don't have the line, they're not prepared to, to pay for people to be idle. They see them as a commodity that they can take off the shelf as and when they need them. And we do live ever increasingly in a, in a world that demands value. We live in a commercial world and we have to adapt as well um, as, as a result. And it's a bit like farming, you know, you've got you to gotta wait for the rain to come. You've got to, um, you, you can only put your seed in at certain times of the year and, you, you, you know, you make hay while the sun shines. Well, it's a bit like that with, with, with many of, of the roles and you can see there's a trend toward that where Increasingly, contracts, um, contract positions are, are, are becoming more prevalent. Short-term assignments where, where, where you'll have an assignment which will be linked to a particular project which has a finite duration and, and, and so on. So that's just to set the context um, 
and, and, and behind why you'll see we have developed a profile-based system like, like we have. Um, so now, how is this relevant to teachers, you may ask? So, a metric of how successful a teacher is, one of them is, is a student, when they, when they leave, when they, when, they, when they leave high school, do they know what they want to do? Do they know how they want to progress their career? And I can say that I've got, as I mentioned, my, my youngest daughter, she, she, she's now um, 18. Um, I've got a whole bunch of nieces and nephews also in that demographic. And I speak to all their friends, and I can say honestly, according to that metric, we are probably failing because... There is such, you know, confusion and, and lack of motivation and, 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 and not knowing what the possibilities and, and that are. So the, the, this is a conversation I had with one of the directors from ARTSL, Australian Institute for Teaching and School Leadership. Yeah. He's, he's got a um, teenage, teenage, I don't know if it was his son or daughter, also doesn't know what to do. And I thought that was quite odd. You know, this is someone who's a rector on, the, on that council. Now, an effective teacher is one that can engage with students. And it is so much easier to engage with a student that knows what they want. And it's also good if the teacher knows what they want. But any, any, any student that knows what they want, they are so much more readily engaged. So that's the whole crux of, of what, what we're about and what we offer. So we offer um, for schools where they can access a whole bunch of free testing and a lot of it is, the, the, the primary one is, is a your greatest strengths test, which does make the student consider what are my, what are my goals, what makes them aware of what kind of jobs are available, what are the different jobs that match their skills? So this is, th this is a report that we provide for free, which is great just, j just for a talking point. So this is an actual sample, sample report. It's, 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 it's of, a fake, um, of a fake person. But um, it's the Your Greatest Strengths report, which, as I said, is, we, we give, provide you access for that, to that for free. So. We don't need to necessarily read, read through the whole thing, but I'll show you what we're talking about. Um, it's over these next three slides, slides. So this report gets generated from a questionnaire that takes about 15 minutes. Very, very simple, where you just you drag in... Um, there's a whole bunch of statements it'll make, and you drag them and you place them in order of importance. So it's, it's, it's relatively easy, and we cater for all age groups. We offer it in a simplified English as well. So, so that's an example of, of, of one of the reports that you, you can access through our system. Now, we, we actually have partnered with, um, with Harrison Assessments, and as Dr. Dan Harrison has, has developed this, so we can't make everything free um, because we pay for them. But... Also, as a teaser, you get the top 11 to 20 careers that, that, that you'd be interested in. And I tell you what, um, when you see there's, there's one, one and two, and they, you know, like 95% match rate and that, it's um, a, lot of, a lot of the kids' parents will, 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 you know, will pay to, to unlock those. But I'll tell you, with the deals we're doing for students as well, we, to do that, it's, it's, um, we've, we've negotiated some, some, some really good deals. Um, so there's other reports that, 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 that spin out of this, which is a career development report. You can, you, can un, you can unlock all 600 careers. Then you can get a career in, enjoyment analysis on any 10 careers that you choose. They don't have to be the top 10 and it matches the attributes of that person and says what they'd struggle with in that career and, and what they'd have to work on and, and, and why they'd be suited to it. So the, the, one, the deal we've got is where for school students only, 
You get 10 of those reports, any 10 careers you want. You, you unlock all 600 careers, and you get additional reports, career development report for $33. So a lot of parents will be in, you know, quite comfortable to pay that. I know when I'm speaking to um, the other kids around that don't know what they want to do as a small investment. So that's the bundle deal. But now this goes hand in hand with some of the questions that, that, that were asked about you know, you know, career profile. That's my, my daughter, by the way. Um, but I've helped her and her friends work through this profile-based system where just by the different categories and these examples that drop down, people with, they've only been a checkout chick or they've been, you know, done a few waitressing jobs, they can get a, a decent three-page resume. And it's because, you know, how have you been successful in this career? Like, the, the initial reaction is, oh, how do you mean? I'm just a, a checkout chick. Well, you know, it, it's, it's more helping them be aware that the things that, that stand out and the thing that will help them be shortlisted is when they, they you know, they, they put down the points that, wow, I got lots of compliments, you know, about how personable or how friendly I was and those sort of things. So, so it's structured sort of to, 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 to flesh out those sort of things and if... You know, if a, if a student's going and dropping off their, their resume, they will make a shortlist because it, it stands out. It, it's something of substance w without having necessary um, a lot of experience. Um, the other thing we do is we offer online um, skills tests. So for, for school students, we offer them free, uh, two free ones. We've got 440. Um, and thereafter, they become, become $9.95. But right now, I'm trying to promote all the, all the, all the free things that, that we're offering. And again, for someone to be employable, if you can take the risk out of it, so if, if someone's um, doing a part-time admin job, for instance, or they've got to send emails, th there's a good one, which is um, standard email etiquette, which makes... It takes the risk out. It means the person understands that, you know, they, 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 they can't... Um, you know, abuse the email system, hit, 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 hit reply all, forward, um, forward jokes and, and, and all, all of that. So if the student's happy about the result gets dumped into their profile, you would check one of those um, bullet points if you wanted, add it into your resume, and then the bottom is an extract of how it's been added into a resume. So, So in, in, in summary, so what we offer for high school students, and this is because we really are passionate about, you know, tr trying to help students start becoming aware. So, so we offer that test that you saw, that three-page report, your greatest strength test, we offer that for free. It does give you careers 11 to 20. And from your, from your profile, other, other candidates on our site have to pay for the resumes that get generated. You'll get a free resume, and uh, as soon as you change your profile, your resume changes. And students can, can um, s select stuff to be shown and stuff not to be shown. So if you, if you are going for, for, for a um, you know, job in, in waitressing, you might only want to highlight certain, um, certain experience. Um, and we also have two online skill tests thrown in, in, in per student. So. If anyone wants, you know, to, to, to get in contact with, with me, please, I'm going to leave a pile of, um, of business cards and we'll give you a link so that you can, you can get your students, to, you know, to, to get access to all of, all of these um, tests and engage with them. So, um, any, any questions? Yes. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, that, definitely. Um, so if, if, if the school wants to do a bundle deal, we'll discount it to, to accordingly to, you know, with the large numbers. So if you had to go on our website now, a lot of those prices are a lot higher, but already just by, being, by signing up as a, as a school, 
any of those students will, 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 will get you know, some of these lower rates, some of the freebies, but absolutely, we'll look at, at bundled deals because yeah, the amount of reports and stuff that we can get out that are meaningful are, are, are phenomenal, and yeah, definitely. Anyone else? Yes. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> but but, but um, what, what's really good is, this, is the questionnaire, right? Even just by, t by doing the questionnaire, it starts, it starts prompting you to, 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 to think about what's important for yourself, right? And um, that's the other thing. When I've worked with, when I've worked with, 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 with some kids, they've... They've thought, you must be looking for this answer because it's more important, and you must be looking, but that's not me, and they, they, they're at odds with it. But it's really trying to impress that only you can do what you can do as good as what you, 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 know, you can do. You know? And that whole individual thing, and the, the amount of careers that drop out of this, and the, the way that, that the report is, it makes them feel that there is some value even though they've been truthful, and it's like, oh, I didn't think this was important. And that's where it starts going along. All of a sudden, oh, I'm valuable. And that's what breaks through, especially like Steve was talking about so, some of the um, schools that they've dealt with in the, in the lower socio-economic um, areas where people have been, have been told they're not valuable, they're not valuable. The moment they realize there's some value in what they do, you unlock something and all of a sudden you've engaged them.